we are today going to encrypt our swap. In the last video, uh, linked up in the card, we encrypted our home directory in Ubuntu 20.04, and we're going to continue that video by encrypting our swap partition or our swap file. Uh, we will see here, once I log in, um, you can choose, uh, this will work for both a swap file or a swap partition. Okay, so let's take a look at what swap files we have. Let's sudo swap on. Okay, dash s for summary. Here we are. Oh, maybe if I spelt it right. There we go. Okay, so in this setup, we have both a partition and a file for our swap. The reason I have a partition there is when I initially set this uh, Ubuntu 20.04 up, I added a swap partition to the drive. Okay, so I don't want the file to take up uh, an additional four gigabytes uh, because I have a partition that is eight gigabytes. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to remove that Let's do that here. So we can remove it by navigating into our FS tab file and editing it. I'm going to use VI to edit it. Okay. We'll go down to our swap file here. You can see this line here is our partition uh, labeled by uh, UUID for that partition. We can take a look at that in a second. I am just going to simply use VI. I'm going to hit DD. I'm going to hit D two times, and that will delete the line. Exit, right, and quit. Okay. And if we do swap on S again, still there. What we'll do is we will now sudo swap off everything. Okay. So swap off dash A is for all. Turn swap off. Okay, so there's no longer a swap. If we do the same command with a dash A and just do dash on, we will see that now only our partition is our swap. We will go and we'll remove that swap.img file that was in root. Okay, you can see the swap file is midway there, swap.img. We're going to remove that. Save ourselves four gigs because the disk on this machine is not very large. Okay, so we've got a total of I think this was a 32 gig machine. So let's, now we can encrypt the swap partition. This is super easy to do. EcryptFS, uh, set up swap. Simple as this, really. Do you want to proceed with encrypting your swap? Yes. Okay, so it has created the swap. It's created a uh, etc crypt fi crypt tab file, and it has uh, added an entry to the fs tab. And we'll need to reboot the machine in order to um, in order to get that. You can see at the bottom there, it cannot open that uh, dev mapper crypt swap one. It doesn't exist yet because this is created upon the machine booting. So we reboot, and we will see that in action. Before we reboot, let's take a look at FS tab.
Okay, you can see the last line there is now set to Crypt Swap 1. And the EcryptFS setup swap has uh, automatically commented out the original swap file for us. So let's take a look at the Cryptab file. So we can go to yeah, Etsy Cryptab. So we can see here, it's taken the UUID of the disk that we want as the source device. This is going to be the partition. And we can see how that links to that UUID. Uh, it's going to use a key file from dev u random. And the options are it's going to be swap. It's going to be offset by 1024. This is there just because the UUID is created inside the first 1024 bits of the partition and if we are going to overwrite that every time with you random then the UUID would change uh, we don't want that so we're offsetting the swap by um, one kilobyte and then the cipher ASXTS plane 64 um, so this is how this partition, or sorry, this, this device is created. Okay, and we can take a look at the UUID of the disk simply by LSHR, and we'll do dev disk by UUID. And we can see here, There's our UUID, and it is pointed at SDA3, which is our swap partition. Cool. So let's reboot and see what happens. I'll be right back once it's rebooted. OK, it looks like it is back. So let's take a look at the swap, swap summary. Okay, so we can see there that the swap is now pointing to dev slash dm0. Okay, although in our fs tab it said it was going to go to crypt swap, and we will see why that is in a second. Okay, so you can see here that dev mapper crypt swap one is our swap. So why is it pointing? Well, there's a hard link. If we go and take a look at this, that points to DM1. And that's pretty much it. Your swap partition or swap file, the steps are the same. Um, you just point to the file or you point to the partition. It has been encrypted and that's all you have. Thanks.